at the storage unit on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. $8 for this vintage Craftsman hold a screw. Boop. Oh, wow. Boop. Do you know that they, cool. they even made those? No, I did not. You just learned. Fossil, I actually picked this out. You did? Straight up, picked it out, and I said, well, it's because of my dad, because he always says Fossil sells no matter what. And uh, turns out Fossil does sell. This is a vintage pebble leather, pebbled, boop, 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 leather uh, little book bag. It's in good condition. There are stains on the inside because if you look at some of the Fossil book bags from back in the day, or, or backpacks, small backpacks, some of them are listed for over $100, and they sell for over $100. This one had some stains on the inside, but the outside looks really nice. And that bad boy sold for $39.99 in like two weeks. That's pretty good for a backpack. A beanie sold, 10 bucks plus shipping. Anthropology. Anthropology. Nice pair of Dickies Twill Work Pants, loose fit, 40 by 30s. These sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Mm -hmm. And then we did have a Dr. Seuss sell, Hopascoppers. Hop on pop. Hop on pop. And we picked these up a long time ago. You get the plush and the book. And this one sold for, I think, 15 bucks plus shipping. We have a couple more of these in stock. And these are the, probably the most surprising sale of them all, is that these are just old top flight tour golf clubs. I've looked over these a ton and you got to get them super cheap we actually got a bag of them uh, for 15 bucks plus a whole bunch of other clubs and these actually sold like we have like good clubs up here these sold within like a week or two they sold for 35 bucks plus shipping that's it's just bad. no that's just a mind-boggling to me because i know that i've actually passed up on these before so that's all sales are still i mean slow ish but we'll take them at the storage unit we're going to run through some sales good sales actually today and yesterday we had three Vintage cast metal men's skater sell for $18 plus shipping. Two shirts sold. We'll combine shipping on these. These are vintage John Blair outdoor cargo safari shirts sold. One sold for $12, one sold for $18. Uh, these, Kayla's not too happy we sold these so cheap. Hmm. These are Tony Llama, Tommy Llama, the Llamas, Boots. Uh, I mean, they've got some wear on them. They just weren't selling, and finally we took an offer for seventy. No, for thirty dollars plus shipping. I was about to say, okay. Okay, seventy. I'll take better. Seventy. Yeah, thirty, little low, but you know, sometimes you gotta make sales. We picked them up for like five bucks. Uh, this right here, GE Electric Power Cord, eight dollars plus shipping. Napa Know How hat, nine fifty plus shipping. A um, Die Hard Charger we just picked up at an estate sale. Just picked it up for I think 15 bucks or 18 bucks, so for $60 plus shipping. This right here is a vintage Sunbeam waffle maker. And it comes with the extra pans in super, super good condition. Needed just a little bit of wipe down. I'm not into these now unless they're actually really clean. That one uh, with the like almost brand new other pieces went for $89.99, so that's pretty good. This next one we got for free. And we sold it for 20 bucks plus shipping. This is Olympics Trip S camera, 35 millimeter point and shoot. And we had Jonah, Joan, and David boots. So for $18 plus shipping, I think that they're going to Australia, maybe. Hmm. I, I, I think so. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh, PlayStation. It says repair. It means it don't work. $18 plus shipping. Some fire tong things do your fire with poke your fire this will poke your fire for $16 plus shipping and then this golf club US kids golf club three wood sold for $11 plus shipping and that is all we got and uh pretty good sales we had a good day yesterday and a good day today so go home pack all this stuff Hey guys, so we are going to Vintage Market Days hosted by Coastal Carolina, and I'm going with my mom, so I thought I would tag you guys along. This is the first time I've been, so we'll see what we can find. All right, so I got my little ticket. It's actually good for all day, so that's pretty cool. It was $5 for parking, so not bad. So I am going to find a parking spot and then turn right, then turn left. And then I will try to find my mom. So I found mom. Say hello. Hey. 
Alright, so let's go in here and see what we can find. as many decorations as you want for your little log. So this is beach sand that is made into earrings, into necklaces, and she has so many beaches that you can choose from. So if you go on vacation and you want to gather sand, you put it in these little jewelry pieces. So there she is if you guys want to go check her out how cool is that so we made it back home and at that one booth where she had the the little tree with the cutouts so this is what I got I got this is Julian. Look how cute that is. And I'm going to put our names on it. So this is Julian and Kayla. And then I got a little tree. So these are interchangeable. So you could have got all of the, the things. And then I'm going to decorate the tree for Christmas. So how cute is that? I love crafters that come up with stuff like this. And I will support them till the day that I die. Because this is a really, really cute idea. And then I got, so at the one booth, Mama's Girls, I think that's what the name was, I got this cute little ornament. So my grandma actually used to have an ornament just like this. So it made me think of my grandma. And thank you. It was so nice to meet you girls. So I'll put their names in the video. And then I also got this little hanging planner thing for a plant. Jillian's going to look at me like I'm crazy, but I love these things. You can put like sand or whatever, and then you could put like little succulents and stuff in it. So I thought that was really cute. So thanks for coming with me and my mom to the vintage days at Coastal Carolina.